So what we're going to do first is I'm going to come over to our brushes menu. I'm going to drop down where it says brush libraries menu. I want to drop down to where it says other library. And if you have not been to jasonsecrest.com, that is where all of this is going to be, or all of our resources are going to be hanging out. So wherever you saved our folder, we are going to be looking for cartoon brushes. And I am looking for hand painted one, and we're going to do it a second time. And if you guys want to use the ones that we're typically using, tinted, any of those, that would totally be fine. We are going to get a little bit more of a messy. So I actually hand painted these with some paints and then scanned them in and then turned them into brushes. So it'll be a little bit more freeform, a little bit more organic with what we're going to be looking at. Now I'm going to keep my inking layer where it is. I want to duplicate inking. I'm going to lock out this layer and then just hide it. I like having all of the steps saved within my layers. So if I ever want to come back, if I ever want to modify things, if I want to come back and edit anything, I am able to do so. All right, so I'm going to be dealing with our inking layer. I'm going to call this one brushes so we know what it is. And then I'm going to hide it. Now, first, I just want to do this. So I just want to grab everything. And let's just see how fat we can go. Some of these are in different sizes. Some of them are going to be a lot more bumpy and textured. And we can kind of mess around with them. So you're going to notice that we can go really, really skinny. Just see how that looks out. I'm kind of looking for a middle one. And there's two ways that you can approach these brushes. Is I can go skinny. And let's just say I want to bump up a skinny one a little bit more that might be the one we're going to go with and or I can go for with a fat one and then shrink them so you can kind of see hey is there anything that's kind of where we want them to and this if you, there is another video out there and I think it's the teddy bear one with the ice cream is we added some roughen edges when we are all done this will kind of mimic that so if I'm going to be doing a hand painted cartoon with some some brushes if you're going to be channeling your inner Bill Watterson, this would be some kind of approach for that. So I'm going to say, I'm just going to look at them. Most of this is going to be pretty good. If you want to get really, really picky, we might say, hey, some of these, these edges are, aren't exactly where I want, but for the sake of argument today, I think most of these are going to do, do us justice just fine. All right, so I'm going to zoom in. So before we move on to the next step, what we are looking for is any random little strays. So yours are going to look a little bit different than mine, just so you're aware. So if I want to come and just clean up some edges, other little things that we might be just looking for is if there's any little stray out there that you want to just get rid of. We are going to be doing a cleanup. I'm going to also hide my anchor point guide right now. And I just want to see if I can modify lines. Are things hitting where I want? Now, if I'm going to be moving things, I could do a couple things. I can just use my black arrow. I could use the smooth tool. So what we are looking for is the same thing that we do in most of the other videos, is we just want to make sure things are long. And since we did add on a bunch of thicknesses, we want to also just see our things hitting where we want. So we might have to come in, modify things a tiny bit. Okay, so some of you are have been patiently waiting. This has been bothering you. It is all sloppy. There's lines everywhere. So let's clean that up. And with these hand-painted brushes, just so you can see, we've got some that are thick to thin. The other menu is, hey, I've got tapers on both sides. So if you like tapers on both sides, you can come in. Hey, let's just see what these are going to be doing. And I can start to modify each one of these and just kind of play around with each one. For the sake of argument, and the sake of time, I'm not gonna do that. But you do wanna just double to check that things aren't giving you any weird strays or anything like that. So let's go on to our cleanup. Duplicate out our brushes. I'm gonna lock out this layer, hide it, and now I'm going to select everything, and we are going to expand appearance. All right, so we're gonna do two types of cleanup today. I, the first one, many of you have already seen. So I'm on back on my tablet. I am going to select the shape. I'm going to go Shift-E, 
and I'm just going to be hiding any of these overlaps within. I'm just going to be looking at which ones I want. So my left hand is just ready to go, hanging out right by Shift E, and Shift E again is our eraser. So it's hanging out underneath our paintbrush. So we have our eraser right here. And if you are ever curious, little method behind the madness, I guess, is this is just so we have a little bit more control over our brushes. So I want, if I want to be really modifying each one of these, just so I'm not worrying too much each time about where things are ending, this is just kind of a nice, easy way of getting things down quickly. Things don't connect on you. A lot of times things will want to connect. Now if I'm doing the eraser, other little thing is if you have a giant eraser, if I go shift E and I want to modify the size up or down, the bracket keys are right next to your P key. And all I'm looking for is which one do I want to be in front. So if there's any random overlapping that you don't want, just get rid of it. Now I will tell you this, this process becomes way easier to figure out when they become your cartoons. So when you have the final ink lines or when you're actually drawing this out, it actually becomes extremely easy to figure out since you know where the cartoon is going. If you're just guessing or following along with me, it's kind of a mystery, a little bit more of a surprise. So I'm just coming through and doing my Shift E, and I think that is going to be pretty user friendly for most of you. Most of the time, the only things you have to really worry about is that I am selecting the shape first, then I click Shift E. Again, I'm hanging out over there, so it's a lot of shortcut. And then I can just come in and I'm using the tablet, very, very user friendly. And then I can just get it and, and delete it. So I'm gonna do another version. So I'm gonna select everything. I'm gonna come over to our Pathfinder and then I'm gonna drop down where it says divide and then I'm just gonna click on divide. Now it's not gonna do anything. What I wanna do first is ungroup. I'm gonna come over to my black arrow and I just want to be able to select individual shapes. Now this one actually, just so everyone is aware, I have now switched over to my mouse. So I don't think this is tablet friendly. I would rather just come in, select it, and then delete. So what you are going to notice is that all of these little overlaps that we had are now little shapes. And I can just point, click, delete, point, click, delete. So anything that is overlapped that I don't think I want, I can now delete. Now some of you might see these little strays. As soon as you see them, use your magic wand, come in, grab all of them, and then just click on delete. Now there's, let's go through the goods and the bads with this. The good pro part of it is it is point and click. So I can say, hey, I wanna get rid of it, delete. The bad part of it is you're going to notice that there is all of these little tiny guys and sometimes that is just frustrating the grab and any bit of overlapping will create a new shape. So you're going to notice that there's a bunch of little guys that might drive you bonkers and you just have to zoom in, see if there's a little one hanging out and then delete it. I can just click delete. My left hand right now is just hanging out on the delete key. So backspace and or delete will work. I'm just seeing what I want in front. That's all gonna get deleted, that's gonna get deleted. I think my leg will go in the front, but you will see these little tiny strays. And yours are gonna be a little bit different than the ones I'm doing right now. So just depending on where your brushes landed and, and hit, you might have a, a little bit different overlapping. If you go a little bit long with your lines, you will get bigger lines like this, which are easier to grab, especially if, as you are zoomed out. And then this is really, really easy. So the little bit longer that you go, it is a little bit easier. But this process, I think a lot of you are going to like. Alright, I think that looks good. I'm just going through 
I want that to actually go behind the belly. So I'm looking inside my underpants strap. That's what I'm looking for. Control zero. Okay. I'm just seeing if I can see anything off the top of my head. Everything looks pretty good. All right, guys. File save. We did it. What I would do is if you finish the tutorial, definitely let me know if you would like to see anything specific and or if you are struggling with anything and would like to see some future tutorials about it, definitely put that into the comments section. But other than that, thanks for hanging out and I hope you guys have a wonderful holiday season.